Hi YouTube, this is Naturally Pisces and today I'm doing an experiment based on Blue Molasses video on natural plant detanglers. I was so interested in that video I thought, man, I want to try those out myself. So, I purchased Marshmallow Root Powder from MountainRoseHerbs.com I purchased Slippery Elm Bark from the same place. Mulen leaf and nettle leaf powder. And you can take a look at some of these. And this one, it kind of smells like oatmeal and it's actually truly shaved bark. It has like little sticks and stems in there. This one. <laughs> When I saw that, that they said this is the wrong person, but no, it's not anything like the, um, it's cousin. But it does have sticks in there, and it's kind of like a cottony green, fluffy kind of texture. But it has a nice smell to it, too. I'm interested to see how it's going to turn out, both of those. And this is the nettle leaf powder. I know one of the major um, natural hair companies uses this. That's part of one of their ingredients. I don't even remember which one. I've looked at so many online. And the nettle leaf powder is dark green and it's very powdery. In each cup, I put one tablespoon. And I'm boiling my water now, and I just want to see what is the result. And um, in Blue Molasses' video, she put uses two tablespoons per one cup, but I'm using one tablespoon per half a cup to see how it's going to turn. Okay, this is my boiling hot water in my favorite little pot, Dollar Store Special. I have my half cup measurement thing, and I think the best way is to just dip it out and then... Put it in there. Dip in. That's convenient. I have a little ladle pouring thing there. Ooh. I feel like a scientist. Mad scientist. Oh, all these smell so good. Oh my goodness. And actually, these things are edible, or you can um, put this in your meals, your salads, your drinks. This is to be um, consumed. That's one of its many benefits. All of these powders. Okay. Some camera's getting foggy. Now... Stir it up. Move this out of the way. And I have different, four different spoons that I'm going to use. Okay. This is the marshmallow root powder. Oh my God, it's so thick. Wow. I may need to add more water. We'll see. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna really stir it up because I think she says to let it sit for maybe 10 minutes after you pour the boiling water on there. Another option would be to microwave it, but um, not using the microwave was part of my 2009 New Year's resolution. Resolution. So we're gonna do it the conventional way. Okay, now for the slippery elm bark. That would make a good tea. Except you would have to strain out the bark. Okay, I have that mixed in fairly well. Now for the mulein leaf. Probably 
probably should have took that stick out of there. But we'll just say it's authentic. Um, probably should have got a smooth cup. Things are running up on the edge. Okay. And last, oh, this is such a beautiful color. Green is my favorite color. Just mix it up. Okay. So I have all of the um, different four different experiments mixed up with its spoons on its side, and I'm just gonna wait.